connected. Recording. So it feels kind of odd riding the 250 to work this morning. But it was the closest one to the door, so I thought, well, this thing needs the cobwebs blowed off of it anyway, so I rode it. It feels different after riding the 300 now for over 400 miles around that, something like that. Over 400, I think. It has rained all day, all evening, quite a bit. Uh, I was hoping it wouldn't rain on the way home, and it looks like I might make it okay. This bike feels so smooth. It feels like butter smooth. After riding the uh, 300, when you give it gas, it goes. This one here is just so smooth. There's nothing wrong with it, but just like butter smooth. Less vibration in the handlebars on this. Now, I don't know. I haven't tried uh, on the, uh, I put the Renthal bars and stuff, so I haven't tried the 300L with that on there yet. Renthal bar and the, the hand guards. That is in, will be in yesterday's video. Things actually quieter, and the engine is quieter too. Not just the exhaust. I mean, the engine itself sounds quieter. So this is my usual commute home from work. If I don't go riding or anything else, I'm just going straight home, like I am today before I, before I uh, get wet. Because if I figure if I, because I figure if I <laughs> can't even talk right, I figure if I uh, decide to go riding, it's gonna come a downpour. It ain't near done yet. You can see the clouds over here. I can tell you one thing I've never done on the 300 yet, and I do it all the time on this, is I'll get in sixth gear and feel like I need to shift up again. On the 300, I've not had that problem yet. Of course, I can see what gear I'm in on the 300. This one you can't. What the heck is that? What kind of a contraption was that? So I mentioned the uh, Biofo camera I have on the 300L. On this one I have the Thinkware M1. So I'm getting a Thinkware M1 to put on the 300 also, like I got on here. They're both good cameras. This one just has image stabilization, so it's a little better. And like I said, you pay more for the better quality, but they're both good. Well, the car lots around here are about empty. I don't know where about where you guys are at, but it's crazy. You can't even hardly get a car. I'm not looking for one, but 
And the same way with bikes. When I went down and bought the 300, if you look at my video where I bought the 300, that place was empty inside. Now they had some street bikes, but they didn't have nothing off-road, no dual sports, nothing. A few new Africa Twins had come in, probably came in when my 300 came in is why, but it's ridiculous. Trying to back off here a little bit before he sprays my camera with water off his tires. He may have already. Can't tell it. I still love this bike. It's just so fun. I mean, it's a uh, it's a great bike. It's, uh, and I've mentioned it several times that. You know, there's nothing wrong with keeping the 250L. It's still a wonderful bike. You're still going to have a bike that you can depend on and ride from now on. With no worries. As long as you take care of it, it'll take care of you. So as I was saying, yes, I still love my CRF 250L. It's just so fun. It's so smooth. Um, yeah, of course I love the 300L also. Now, if you give me a choice between the two right now, if I could just, if I could only have one, you take and pick. Of course, I'm going to choose the 300, just because it's like the 250L, just a step up. I mean, it's got more power, it feels better, I mean, everything about it feels better. Even though there, it's kind of funny that there's nothing wrong with this, but everything about the 300 to me feels better. So I would keep the 300 and not the 250L. So in the future, if one of them has to go, it would definitely be the 250. And I'd hate to lose the 250. I mean, I just, because it's been so good to me, I've had the 2014 for all that time. It was wonderful. I got the Africa Twin, then I went back to 250 and got this one, and it's just, it's a wonderful bike. It does everything I want to do. We ride two up on it. I do think the 300 is better for two up than the 250. It's got more power, pulls the two people better, and it actually, they may say the suspension is soft on it, but actually it holds two up better than this 250L does. So, it's kind of cool having both, I guess. I guess, say, if I had something to break on one of them, and I didn't have the part, I had to order a part, I'd still have another one I could ride either one of them, so that would come in pretty handy. I mean, I got spare parts like tubes and anything, I've had a flat. But if anything major happened, which I don't expect it to because it's a Honda, I seriously doubt anything major is going to happen as long as I upkeep it, which I do. Uh, this one is due for an oil change here for long. Actually, no, it ain't. I just changed it at 8,000 miles, so it's due. It's still got a while before we go. Um... The 300, I changed the oil on it at 300 miles. I hope this truck stops. Half of the people don't stop at this stop sign. So I've got a ways on it. I'll change it to 4,000. What a super day. This is awesome out here. I mean, it may have rained, but now that it's the rain's gone and it's actually not hot. It's not cold. It's perfect for wearing a jacket. I got the vents open on my climb, so it lets some air in. Feels good. So, 
I will go home, relax, work on this video. I made the video, uh, the last one you'll see would be the, um, the one that it's actually posting tonight. So this video will be tomorrow. But uh, that's the one on the handlebars, the hand guards, and the handle grips uh, from CRS only. These handlebars here actually feel really good. This is the Pro Taper contour bars. I really like them. I don't know that they're any better than the um, the Renthal that I put on the CRF 300L. The 300L, the Renthals uh, I put on there are higher than these. I got the high bend, which are the ones I got on the Jimmy Button bend. Can you guys comment below if you remember Jimmy Button in Supercross? I remember him. I uh, met him at Dallas Supercross years ago. Uh, he was a fun rider. He was a good one. And just, you know, some people have bad luck, and he's one of them that have bad luck. Kind of like Doug Henry, if you remember him. Remember the big jump where he went off the hill on the outdoor motocross? It's pretty bad, but that's what hurt Doug Henry and broke his back. And It was a really bad deal. You look up on YouTube, Doug Henry crash, and you'll see it. I mean, this guy launches his honda he was factory honda he launched that bike off this jump and i mean it's unreal <laughs> and just you know it too much of a drop my goodness look at the old goats they going right through that fence hope they don't rip another this guy here has them bloodhounds So this is my commute home. Even though I skipped part of it, I cut out <laughs> some of the boring stuff, I think. <clears throat> Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll leave it. We'll see. I just don't, when I'm not talking and it's just down the highway, what's the point in leaving that? But I might do it just for the heck of it. There was a guy that commented that has a 300 uh, KLX or whatever it is, 300 that wanted to come down and ride and kind of compare the two bikes, but he never replied back. I thought it'd be pretty cool if he wanted to. So if he sees it, maybe he'll get back with me. Come down, we can just kind of compare the two and look them over and maybe even go for a ride. I am almost to my mailbox, not far away now. So guys, check out my Amazon store. Check out CRS only, click the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Right on.